practicing your downtown is learning how to cross your feet over. So we're going to start with forward crosses and I'm going to start with my feet apart. I'm going to take my right foot and I'm going to cross it over the left and I'm going to sit at that moment so my knees stay bent. I'm slightly forward just to be safe. I let the left foot come back out and step out. Then I'm going to repeat left over right, step the right foot out. Right over left, left foot out. Notice I'm not transferring my weight out to this foot, I'm keeping my weight centered. Every time I step, I'm sitting my foot right underneath me so that it's easy to take the other foot out. Over left, touch. Left over right, touch. You want to have your feet parallel for this exercise. Cross, touch. Cross, touch. After you've practiced your forward crosses, we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to be crossing behind. Uh, we're going to do kind of the same um, technique. The right foot's going to cross now behind the left. I'm going to sit in that moment also. My left foot skates out to touch on the side just for a little additional stability, but I'm not transferring my weight. I'm staying centered. Then the left crosses behind the right. I touch the right out to the side. Then, then touch. Touch. This could be a dance move all in itself. You might have seen something like this, rolling or just standing. So this is a good one to start practicing and to feel comfortable with your feet crossing under your heel. The key is to keep standing over the top of your feet. If your feet get away from you, that's going to be a problem. So just keep pulling them right underneath you. So now that we've practiced crossing in front and crossing behind, we're going to start putting these together to sequence them. Let's just start going to the right for now. And we're going to take the left foot, cross it over the right step my right foot out. Then I'm going to take the left foot, cross it behind the right, and step out. Then I'm going to step my feet together, and chill for two beats. Then I'm going to repeat the same thing going to the left, so I step with the left, cross in front with the right, step out, cross the right behind, step out, feet together, two beats. So once again, that's step, cross in front, step, cross behind, step them together, wait out the beats. Step, front, Step behind, step together, wait it out. If you're doing this two time, you should probably practice in like an eight count. It'll look something like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Step one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One of the common mistakes I see is people end up getting their feet a little bit twisted or crossed when they're trying to do this or standing straight in their knees. So if you feel like you can't quite get them crossed, if you take this moment to sit, you have the stability and your feet will remain underneath you. Um, if you're having a problem with the cross itself, uh, it could be that you don't feel like you're supported when you put your foot down. It's because you're putting your foot down straight if you bend this knee, then you are supported. So make sure on just your basic crossing drill that you're you're getting that bend to happen. And then this will feel like you have some stability. You'll notice my toes are always facing the same direction. So they start as it rolls to get a little bit more of a diagonal skate as opposed to the flat skate. But either way, my toes have to be rolling together the same direction. Even when it's flat or rolling more, they're going the same direction. There you go. That's like basic ground zero downtown. Obviously, once you get the steppy jive a little bit uh, more comfortable, then you can work on creating like a smoother transition when you start, 
pushing out into like the backwards cross and getting a lot more roll. Um, but I would say definitely start here just so you have the basic crossing down, comfortable, basic down. in learning some more moves. I teach once a month in Santa Monica with LA Roller Girls. We have monthly workshops. Um, make sure you check us out at larollergirls.com slash workshops. If you're interested in booking a private session, uh, you can reach out to me through Instagram. Um, I work remotely or in person. So yeah, would love to skate with you. Later skater!